It's Brain Arts with Dr. Tom, guitar picks with Brad Reeves out of Brown Summit, North Carolina. We've asked Brad to compose a list of 20 influence songs. Brad, can you tell us how you came up with your list? Well, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be because after I started thinking about all of the different styles that that I've uh, played over the years, I wanted to try to represent a little bit of everything. And so I just started generating a list, and it was about 50 tunes. <laughs> and then I sort of started whittling that down, and then I got to down to about 30, and then I had to whittle those down, which really hurt to, to cut some of them. And, uh, of course, there are some on this list that should be on there more than once because they played for so long that their styles changed, and I uh, learned from their new styles. But so it is. That's how I came up with my 20. Okay, uh, on to the list. Uh, George Harrison, Day Tripper. Nothing but a classic, great guitar lick by one of the best-known side men in the industry, George Harrison. Of course, this guy gets hooked up with two of the best songwriters of pop music of the last century and, and uh, sits there and pumps out these guitar licks that are, are great. And I think the thing I learned from him was he pulled from a lot of different genres, and he stayed out of the way of the song, basically. He he dressed it. He played in the right places. He played extremely tastefully and and had a lot of technique, but the technique never overshadowed the music that he played. And I attribute the Beatles to really being the ones that rang the bell first for me, and those guys drew from... Uh, from traditional blues, American black, hardcore R&B, straight ahead 50s rock and roll, uh, Nashville and West Coast based hardcore country music. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they they were pulling from a lot of genres and it all all basically though became them with that pop sensibility that they had. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you started playing guitar? It was about it was about the 10th grade. Mhm. Mm must have been about 15. Mm -hmm. So you're saying George was sort of uh, uh, played a very uh, supporting role to both Paul and uh, John as far as the music that they created together. Yeah, I think that they were they were the epitome of a band. They each one of those four guys brought their own personality to the group and had any of the four been someone else it would have been a completely different band and might not have been uh they might not have done what they did do uh, but harrison it was almost like you didn't know he was there in a sense because he was so there he mm -hmm. stayed out of the way of the songs and i think what i learned from him was was how to play a, a, a guitar lick on a song and keep the song out front because those guys were songwriters, and, mm -hmm. and those guitar licks he got from all over the place. It was obvious that he was a student of American music for sure. Mm -hmm. 